What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today we're focusing on uh, Sonny Milano with the U.S. National Team Development Program. Uh, projected first round pick in 2014. You know, really gets some intrigue and upside. Um, you know, he plays center and the wing. I've seen him listed at both right and left wing. I've seen him play center too. Um, you know, really had a pretty good year last year with the development team. 22 points in uh, 38 games in the USHL portion of the schedule. And, um, 47 points, 56 games in the U17 portion of the schedule. So, you know, put out some pretty good offensive numbers. It was minus 27 in the USHL part of the schedule. Really like to see him improve that, but I think that'll happen. Um, last year's U17 team really, I, I think the development team on the whole, both the both levels, U18 and the U17 teams, didn't reach the peak with the talent they had. I thought as a unit they could have played better on both levels, of course. And I think it's going to come together next year with Milano. With McGinnis, um, with obviously Jack Eichel, um, you know you really see it start to come together, especially for the U18 guys. And um, you know I look for him, his draft stock to go up. Like I said, projected end of the first round. Um, you know he's not the biggest guy, five foot ten, 160 pounds, um, but you know he's skilled offensively, got a great set of hands, and can move. And I mean that that's what you need. And if he can continue to produce. And uh, you know, use his offensive instincts to get his teammates involved. I like this team simplify his game a little bit. Um, that, that's not to say take the creativity out of the game, but don't be afraid to make the simple pass. You know, not every play is going to get you on Sports Center. Um, and you know, like I said, he, he can do electrifying things with the puck. Bottom line is sometimes you don't need to do an electrifying thing with the puck. I think that'll come with time. I think he's going to be one of the leading scorers on the U18 team this year. I think Notre Dame, they got a bad rap for killing offense there. Um, even though I think. You know, the coach and staff's amazing, um, and they've had some great success the last couple of years. I think he's making a good choice going there. I think he'll become a better defensive player at Notre Dame. And this is a kid you won't be hearing about for a while. I, I think even if he does move up to the 15th pick, I think he needs at least two years in college, minimum. And, um, you know, even like I said, 15 min middle of the first round, not the 15th pick exactly, specifically, but, uh, you know, that, that range. And, um, you know, I think with the proper coach, and I think he's, he'll. If his defensive game improves, uh, everything else will come together. And like I said, I'm intrigued by him. He's from New York. He's a Long Island kid. But he's played for the Cleveland Barons. Um, actually had a great last season. The midgets out there, the U16 team, um, with 87 points in 40 games. You know, really electric numbers. And uh, you know, I think that's going to continue to fall. I think he's going to his repertoire will expand. I think he becomes a better, more responsible defensive player. The opportunities are limitless for him. The sky's the limit, and I think he'll be. Um, Definitely the 2015 World Juniors be challenged. Uh, yeah, 2015 World Juniors. I think will be challenged for a spot there, and I think we'll be hearing his name um, a lot going forward. I think he's, you know, I mean, I don't think the development team didn't, didn't have a first round pick last year. Oh, they did McCarron. So I think um, between him, McGinnis, and um, Eichel in 2015, they'll be back on the the path of producing multiple first round picks every year. And um, I know actually Eichel's draft year will be at either BU or in the queue, but. You catch my drift. Anyway, oh, I mean, you can say the same thing about Seth Jones being an alum going in the first round. As I'm going completely off topic. Anyway, that's all this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Sonny Milano of the U.S. National Team Development Program. Top prospect for the 2014 NHL Entry Draft. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.